Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV and we are discussing how to modify the field catalog which is generated by SAP function module reuse underscore ALV underscore field catalog underscore merge and we took the requirement based upon that we have written the logic for the same. This question is from so many people asked. So there is no need to replace your logic by manual field catalog. You can modify the field catalog internal table. But yes, if you are developing a ALV from the scratch and you are using this function module, so prefer manual field catalog. So headache will be less in the future. Now, I will put a breakpoint and we will understand this in the debugging mode. I will run. I will give the input. I will go to execute. Now I will simply, simply go for this particular internal table. Desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now this internal table has seven records. So loop will continue seven times. If I will show you work area, this work area is blank as of now. Now, whenever I will do F6, this line will execute and first record from the internal table will go to work area. It means this record will go to work area. I am doing F6. Now you can see in the work area, we have the first record. And what is the first record? First record is for the which particular column? VBELF. Now we checked. If work area field name is VBELN, yes. This if condition, true. So we are changing the cell text underscore L property to document number. Now you will understand fully. As of now, we passed the value to the work area, not to the internal table. If I will show you the internal table as of now, this internal table has as of now sales document only. Once this modify statement will execute, then changes from the work area will go to the internal table. If you see, as of now, our cell text underscore L is in work area. It is not in internal table. If I will go for this, it is in work area as of now. Now this modify will execute. Now, if I will show you the internal table, this is our internal table. And have you seen it is changed to document number? Done. Now, with this logic will continue. This if condition failed. This if condition failed because our field name is VBELF. Now, loop will come for second iteration. I am doing F6. Or you can check here also Cytabix 2. Cytabix gives the current iteration of the loop, current index which record is going on. Now, if you see the field catalog field name is ER that work area hyphen field name is ER that. So first if condition false. But second if condition is true. Now we are setting the position to three. Now, if you see as of now, the three is in the work area. It is in the work area, but it is not in the internal table. If I will show you the internal table, still internal table position is two only. Once this modify will execute, yes. Now the changes will move to the internal table. Now we have the position is three for this ER that. Next, if condition failed, it is false. Now we will come on to third record. Now you can see side tabix is three. If we will go for field name, field name is ERZET. 
So first two if conditions are false. Third if condition is true. Now we are setting the column position to two. Now this column position two is in the work area. It is not in the internal table as of now. Once this particular modify will execute, then the position will change into the internal table. And you can see the position changed into the internal table. Now loop will continue for the fourth record, but fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh record, we do not want to do anything. But yes, loop will continue. Have you seen fourth record? All if conditions are false. Now loop will come for fifth record. Now we have the fifth record. Side tab is five. All if conditions are false. Now loop will come for sixth record. All if conditions again false. Now loop will come for seventh record. All if conditions are false. Now we modified the internal table. Now you can see I am on this particular function module now. If you see whatever we want to do, it is modified in the internal table. 3 and 2, if I will go to the right hand side, document number. And yes, we are passing it to SAP function module reuse underscore alv underscore grid underscore display. I will do F8. And you can see once I will expand document number, time has a position 2 created on date or has a position of 3. So this is the way. If you are using SAP function module also to generate the field catalog. And yes, if you want to change the, if you want to modify the field catalog, this is the way you can modify. There's no need to replace by manual field catalog. Yes, but here, yeah, if you are developing the ALV from the scratch, manual will give you more flexibility. You can easily, easily go for the changes. There is no need to modify. There is no need to do all these things because you are creating in such a way. At that time, you are using append to make a field catalog manually. So you have very much flexibility at that point of time. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.